Our spotlight story tonight is about how the Moses Lake City Council discussed personal freedom versus social responsibility while debating whether to impose a mandatory bicycle helmet ordinance. Here with the story is Ryan Lancaster. Moses Lake bike riders can continue leaving the house without a helmet, although the issue may resurface. City Council last night opted to take no action on a proposed ordinance that would have required helmets for bike riders, with violators facing a possible $25 fine. In its first rendition last month, the ordinance required helmets for users of most people-powered contraptions, from bikes and roller skates to scooters and skateboards. Tuesday's redraft pertains only to bicycles and electric-assisted bikes to, in the words of city staff, more closely reflect the thinking of Grant County Health District officials. But Moses Lake resident George Playtest still found fault with the proposed law, saying helmets should only be required for younger riders. As an adult, he said it should be his choice to don headgear. I, I do understand the health risks of, of health injury, of head injuries, um, but yet again, that's, I believe it should be a choice of the individual. Councilman David Kernell responded. He sits on the Grant County Board of Health and is a firm advocate of the proposal. You know, we all have choices that we make in our lives. And if those choices don't affect society, then they're fine. But what happens when somebody gets brain damaged, they end up in a nursing home, their insurance benefits run out, and then society has to pay for that. So your choice Cost society. Moses Lake Police Chief Dave Ruffin said the city usually sees about six incidents involving bicycle vehicle collisions per year. Councilman Dick Dean said he's heard from a lot of residents on the helmet issue. While he agrees with the sentiment of the rule, he said any decision should be put off until more public support can be gathered and other cities can be brought into the conversation. It would behoove us to cause or force or to encourage all other cities in Grant County to step up to the plate with us. I don't think that we need to be used as the, as the front bumper to make this happen. Councilman Karen Liebrick disagreed. This is an issue that is an individual choice and not one that government should um, force upon its citizens. I think the best avenue is still education. Other council members said they probably would support the ordinance if it included an age limit. I think when you get to be an adult, it should be more of a, a choice. In the end, the council took no action on the proposed ordinance. For i Fiber One News, this is Ryan Lancaster reporting. We'll be right back with news from the Northwest.